they announced at the formation in the morning or in the evening if somebody died. We lost 45 men out on the 77. And the former name is Walter King. He was a team street drawer, team of mules, you know, in the outfit. He says, Walter King passed away. I was on the guard at the main gate about 11 o'clock at night, Walter King coming in, in the camp. I don't know what to do. <laughs> you couldn't believe when I did see the dead man walking. So finally, I said, well, Walter, I says, you was reported dead at, <coughs> at retreat formation. He says, I was. He says, I woke up, I was in the basement, and the guys on top of me, he says, that was piled up, the big pile. He says, I have a awful hard time to get out of it. He says, was I scared? Well, what, what do you think of that? That was really something. He <laughs> waking up and a bunch of corpses it, on top of you. He come home after war, it was discharged with Cam Grant with us. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he was pretty happy he wasn't one of the dead ones, wasn't he? <laughs> I think he was, I think so. And then another accident with the dam, going from Southampton, England, to La Havre, French. About one o'clock at night, you got hit by a submarine on English Channel. Boy, all the lights were out. We, we were just piled up in there on the floor, you know, just short trip and on bottom of the about 100 miles. And all oh, you ever see excitement. Man, no man, no man. The people try to get on top of deck, walk on top of heads, one another double. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> and I tell you, I never get over that. That lasted all oh, probably 15, 20 minutes. Then after a while, the Navy started hanging kerosene lanterns, lamps. He says, as you wear, man, as you wear, no danger. Oh, God. The guys, Opened up them little round port doors. I don't know what was the big idea. The water started coming in on the floor. <laughs> we was below the water level, you know. And I don't know about two or three story ship. No. <clears throat> what the fuck I gotta go through? They didn't lot. sink you then, did they? <laughs> no. No ship coming by itself. We lost 11 men. Uh -huh. That's all that happened. How long were you overseas during World War One? Oh, I don't know, about six months, somewhere. About six, six months? Six, six, seven months. Already. You traveled in uh, France and England? Yeah. yeah and uh, did you get any other countries over there? No, I got in Germany. In Germany? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most time we spent in France. In France. We, we landed in France, in La Havre, and we sailed home from Brest. I see quite a bit French, we was right on the train quite a bit, you know. Oh God, oh blessings, I never forget that. So, I was in French in 1981. Been on a trip here from Rantoul. When I was in World War out there, I never see one mile paved. And when I was in, that was in, during World War I, 1918 and 17. How long were you in uh, the Army then? Well, I was a short enlistment. I was a year and a half, and I re-listed for another year. Uh -huh. And uh, when I was out in 81, I never see one mile wasn't paved. <laughs> Old blacktop roads and so on. It showed great improvements. Do you remember driving? What was your first car that you had? With what? What was your first automobile oh. car? <laughs> Four-cylinder Dodge Roadster. <laughs> what I year was that? <laughs> 1922. 1922. Second hand one. I paid $200 for. <laughs> how old was it then? A car? Yeah, the car. When you bought it, how old was the car then? A year old. It was ten, a year old. Year old. I was 10,000 miles. 10,000 miles. That's a lot of miles for <laughs> a car in those days in a year. Well, it was selling. I think it was for $700 new ones. Mm -hmm. In those days, I don't know just exactly. That's a lot less than the prices today, isn't it? I think so. I guess you're right. <laughs> well, I worked for Thomas Beckenmore Company down there during the Depression. Four-door Dodge sedan, six cylinder, 
$750. We should bolt it and save now. <laughs> <laughs> be worth a lot more than that today, wouldn't it? Well, they made a quite a bit of improvements on the cars. In those days, the cars don't have a st stop lights, directional lights, and all that sort of stuff. They used to call the higher and horse. Okay. That's my boy. You have to take it out. Of the car. Mm -hmm. Here, no, 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 because that's a trash bag. Take it out to the car. The car's. Well, I don't know where I saw it. Go put that out in the car. And how are you today? I'm fine. Don't take this. Can't be over five ounces on a scale. The yellow stripe means it's a design car, and it doesn't have a entrance number. It just has a pack number. You got to write their names down. What's your pack number? I've got a list. Uh, 1.5.